ituturo po natin ngayon starting today at hanggang sa matapos ang February would be a series about discipleship. Sabihin nga natin, discipleship. Siyempre, kung ikaw ay disciple, meron kang tinatawag na discipler. Di ba? So, discipler is a kind of leader. So, kaya ang title ng ating message is Why and How God Raise Up Leaders. Because kung ikaw ay discipler, ikaw ay, eh, kung, kung ikaw ay discipler, of course, you are a leader. Ang ibig sabihin ng word na leader comes from the word lead. Lead. At uh, kadugtong nito, ER. So, someone who leads. Yun ang ibig sabihin ng leader. Someone who leads a group, could be an organization, could be a department, it could be a different uh, areas in society or it could be a simple leading your family leading your friends or it could be leading uh, leading someone so that means to say that all of us somehow has an influence for others so if you can influence five people you're a leader amen if you can influence your family so somehow you have that kind of ability to lead. So, I want us to read the verses in Exodus 3, and let's see here how, why God, and how God raised up leaders. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Exodus 3, now Moses was tending the flock of Jethro, his father-in-law, the priest of Midian, and he led the, he led the flock for the far side of the wilderness and came to Horeb, the mountain of God. There the angel of the Lord <clears throat> appeared to him in flames of fire from within a bush. So Moses thought, I will go over and see this strange sight, why the bush does not burn up. Verse 4, when the Lord saw that he had gone over to look, God called to him from within the bush and said, Moses, Moses. And Moses said, Here I am. Do not come any closer, God said. Take off your sandals, for the place where you are standing is holy ground. Then he said, I am the God of your father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. At this, Moses hid his face because he was afraid to look at God. All right, so dito sa verse 7, The Lord said, I have indeed seen the misery of my people in, Israel, in Egypt. I have heard them crying out because of their slave drivers, and I am concerned about their suffering. So I have come down to rescue them from the hand of the Egyptian and bring them up out of that land into a good, sabihin nga natin, good and spacious land. Okay, repeat after me. Plowing with milk and honey. So, that's where God is bringing them. The home of the Canaanites, Hittites, Amorites, Perizzites, Hivites, and Jebusites. And now, the cry of the Israelite has reached me, and I have seen the way the Egyptians are oppressing them. So now, go, I'm sending you to Pharaoh to bring my people, the Israelites, out of Egypt. So dito sa verse na ito, I want us to have some background about uh, why God are raising up leaders. So uh, not all the reasons are here, but I just want to give two reasons from here. Why do we need leaders? Like, you know, if you are a disciple, you need a leader, di ba? You need a mentor. If you're working and you need uh, more skills and other things, you need some somebody to mentor you so somehow we need a leader sa family hindi pwedeng walang leader kasi kung hindi magulo di ba lalo na sa church kung walang leader uh, walang mga sistema ng kung kung sino yung mga schedule na magi speak maglilid ng worship magulo hindi ba it's chaos so anong dahilan bakit we need leader so uh, so as we read here kanina sa verse 7 Ang pinakadahilan why we need leaders is because of you. Sabihin mo nga sa katabi mo, because of you. Kailangan natin ng, kailangan natin ng leader because all of us need a leader. 
Sabi rito ng God, I have heard the cry of my people. I have heard their suffering. I have heard how the Egyptians are oppressing them. So, yung mga sitwasyon na yan, hindi natin kaya in our own. We need someone to encourage us, strengthen us, pray for us, support us. We need leaders who will be, who will be willing to lay down their lives and willing to help us in the situation where we are in. So praise God, hindi ba? Salamat sa Panginoon na nais niya pala, na pinakikinggan niya pala yung mga iyak natin. Kung totoo yung mga iyak natin from our heart, and we were crying to God, 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 have mercy upon me. God is going to hear you. Amen? Sabi mo, God is going to hear you. That's why He sent Moses. Kaya sinabi niya, I am sending you. You will be uh, my hands, you will be my feet, you will be my mouth to these people. And so, ang dahilan bakit natin kailangan ng leaders is because God wants to deliver us from uh, the situation where we are in. The Lord wants to deliver us from oppression, from the work of the enemy. Of course, ang kalaban natin ngayon, hindi na yung ating flesh and blood or yung mga uh, yung boss mo, yung classmate mo o kaya yung teacher mo, alright? Hindi na yung biyanan mo, tama ba? Hindi yun ang kaaway natin. Ang kaaway natin, ang ating uh, oppressor is the devil. Merong fight in the spiritual. We're fighting not against flesh and blood. Ang kalaban natin ay yung spiritual forces in the air. So yun yung mga kalaban natin. So we need someone to help us Someone to show us the way. Someone who would uh, help us to grow in our faith. And of course, God wants us, wants to fulfill the purposes of God in the lives of us. In the lives of the people of the Israelites and in the lives of the leader, Moses. So, God has a purpose for Moses. God has a destiny for him. Siya talaga ang itinalaga ng Diyos para... To bring these people out of Egypt, out of the slavery. And uh, he prepared Moses to go. So sabi sa kanya, now I'm sending you to bring my people, the Israelites, out of, out of Egypt. Of course, it's a privilege, you know, being a leader, na pinili ng Lord. It's a privilege to work hand in hand with God. Kung paano pag sumunod ka, you would see the power of God, you would feel the presence of God, you would uh, experience His provision, the miraculous, that's amazing, amen? Kaya God wants to work through us, alright? Somehow in this way, God limit Himself to us. Tayo yung gagamitin ng Diyos. Tayo yung gusto ng Lord na uh, makaranasan natin. Yung, yung uh, karanasan na hindi pwedeng ibigay ng anuman sitwasyon o anumang mga uh, bagay sa mundo, kundi yung uh, makasama siya na working together in a vision, working together sa mga purposes of God in our lives. Yun ang gusto ng Diyos. So, that's a brief uh, explanation why God wants to raise leaders. So, praise God na yung mga leaders are servant of God. Amen? They are there to serve. They are there to really bring people to the promised land. Bring people to the spacious land flowing with milk and honey. Wow, grabe, no? Hindi pinili ng Diyos ang mga leader para maging, you know, superstar or maging parang uh, uh, utos ng utos. Hindi ganon. Kundi nag ang God ng leader so that they would bring them to the promised land that God had for them. Amen? Alright? So, salamat sa Panginoon for that. And uh, let, let's go here sa second point I want to share with you how God raises up leaders in this uh, situation with Moses. Paano niya ba ni-raise up si Moses as leaders? And how will God raise us up also as leaders? Kung nasaan ka, you have an influence. You have an influence with your husband, with your parents. You have an influence with your uh, siblings or maybe children. You have an influence in the society, in the community where you work, you have an influence. So, 
let's see how God worked here. How did he raise up Moses? So as we have uh, read kanina, a while ago, we read that Moses is very faithful tending the flock. He's working uh, as a shepherd tending the flock. And he went over to that Mount of Horeb, which is called the Mountain of God. And there, nakakita siya ng supernatural work. He saw an angel inside the flame. And the flame is over the bush. But the bush is what? It's not burning up. Hindi na susunog. Grabe, di ba? That's amazing. That's supernatural. Sabihin nga natin, supernatural. Sometimes God will use supernatural to get our attention. Alright? Actually, most of the time, God will use supernatural to really bring our attention. So, naalala ko si, like, si, si Peter, you know, si Peter. Nung siya ay mag, uh, like, you know, he'll go fishing. And uh, they toiled all night. For fish, wala silang mahuli. Pero when Jesus appeared there on the, uh, on the uh, near this, the beach, they, he said that, uh, let go of your tents. Let go of your nets. But he said, we, we all day long, all night toil, but there's no fish. But anyway, at your word, I will do it. So, dahil sinabi ni Jesus yun, so he did it. He let go of his nets. At anong nangyari? So much, so much, so much peace na they can't even hold it. Yung net na yun. Sobra. So, because of that, anong nangyari? Si Peter napaluhod siya like, oh my God. My God, my Lord. And that caused him to repent from his heart and give his life to the Lord because he experienced the power of God. Amen? Naalala ko po nung ako ay uh, bago makakilala, o na, uh, during nung times na nag-umpisa ako sa Lord, na talagang uh, ginamit ng Lord yung sitwasyon na ako nga, uh, most of you know about it, na uh, naibigay ko ng testimony yun na when I was young, uh, lagi akong sakitin. And, uh, Dumating yung uh, point in my life that I got so sick, so sick, very, very sick. Doctor said that I won't live even I would have my operation. And even if we will have money to pay for the operation, sayang lang siya. Kasi hindi sure, as- uh, walang assurance that I would live. Anyway, in short, amen? In short, the Lord healed me miraculously. I did not go t- sa operation. At uh, ang bilis ng aking recovery and the doctor were amazed and uh, yung mga kasamahan namin nun sa church na o, that always come to pray for me, sila mismo hindi sila makapaniwala because they saw me na talagang like uh, unconscious na. Hindi ko nakilala yung tao, wala na talaga, wala nang, eh, hindi na ako nagsasalita. So things na mga ganun nakita nila and yet nakita nila yung himala. And because of that, Pag kinikwento nila sa akin yun, something stirred up in my spirit. Wow, God, grabe pala yung ginawa mo sa akin. And nare-realize ko later on na, wow, talaga palang binuhay ako ng Diyos. It could have been my last uh, parang day na noon. Yet God healed me miraculously. And so because of that, yung supernatural na nangyari sa akin, I, become, I have become na parang... Uh, Naging dahilan yung para ako ay magtanong sa Lord, Lord, bakit? Anong dahilan? You have a purpose. So katulad dito si Moses, nung makita niya yung burning bush na to, na uh, it's not, there's a fire but it's the bush is not burning, medyo nakakakuha ng attention. Ang ginawa niya is he, tur- he turn aside or he, he go over to look. Sabihin nga po natin, he go over to look. Sa isang translation, sabi, he set aside. His, uh, ang isang translation is, uh, he turned aside and see. Dito sa translation ng NIB, he gone over to look. He go, he go over to look. And sa ibang translation, he turned aside and see. In short, nag-focus siya. Tiningnan niya, mabuti. Bakit kaya? Ano kaya ito? You know? Ano kaya ibig sabihin nito? Bakit nagbe-burn? Pero hindi nasusunog yung 
mga, mga weeds or yung mga puno. So that's how he's asking from his mind. And uh, nag-respond siya. Alright? Sabihin nga natin, we need to respond. Pag tayo po ay nakakita ng mga supernatural, we have to respond to God. Lord, what do you mean by this? Ano ang gusto mong gawin ko, Panginoon? Because God is saying something and we need to focus. We need to do something about it. Maybe yung ginawa ni Moses na yun, he really makes some effort, di ba? So tayo rin, we need to make an effort. Naranasan natin kung paano tayo pinagaling ng Lord, amen? Sinong nakaranas ng mga milagro sa kanilang buhay? Yes, kung hindi man sa, ga- pagkagal- sa kagalingan, it could be have been like, you know, financially before, uh, I've heard so many testimony na yung ang daming credit card tapos talagang uh, talagang baon sa utang and yet God delivered them at nakalaya sa utang at ngayon pinagpapala na ng Lord so because of that naging generous siya meron akong kakilala na nakakausap ko minsan isa sa mga speakers natin sabi nila sabi nung isa like uh, yung kanya daw buhay before magtatrabaho siya para pag Friday magpa-party siya lahat ng pera niya ubos yun. But praise God because of the love of God, of the love of Jesus na naranasan niya sa kanyang buhay and the Lord had changed him, delivered him sa mga bisyo and mga mga uh, uh, chains of the enemy. Diniliver siya ng God. After that, na-change ang life niya at sabi niya, Lord, I want to be a channel of your blessings. Kung noon yung pera ko, ganun na lang kung gastusin ko sa mga party, inom, bisyo. How much more now that I receive you in my life? You've changed me. Kaya ngayon, he's a giver. Like, you know, talagang sobrang uh, alam niya ang purpose ng God, bakit siya bini-bless. So that he will be a blessing to others. He will be a blessing to the ministry. He will be a blessing to expand the kingdom of God here on earth. Yun ang pinakadahilan. Kaya nabago siya. So we have to turn aside. We have to go and look over. Lord, i-analyze natin bakit ito nangyayari, Lord. Anong plano mo sa aking buhay? And then do something. As you respond, do something. Maybe kailangan na uh, you need to spend more time sa, sa prayer. Maybe you need to go uh, turn aside or uh, sabihin natin yung go and he... he He go and look over. It could mean focus. Maaring kailangan mag-aral ka ng Bible school, mag-enroll ka sa Bible school. Maaring pag katulad no, nagkaroon tayo ng revival. Maybe you, you should have been there yung three days na yon. That's one way we look, we look over to see. That's one way we set aside ourselves and see and look and uh, makita natin ano ang gusto mong gawin, Panginoon? Ano ang dapat kong gawin? And then after that, After that na nangyari yon, anong na, m, si si Moses he had some kind of encounter, amen. Kanina ang sabi ko kanina is God uses supernatural to get our attention. Pangalawa, we need to we need to uh, go over and look. We need to respond. We need to respond through going and seeing what is happening. Or cooperate with God. What do you want me to do, God? At yung pangatlo, God wants to give you an encounter. Amen? After that, God wants to give you an encounter. So, alam po natin na yung encounter would really, uh, you will never be the same again pag nagkaroon ka ng encounter with God. Katulad ni Moses. He had an encounter. Ano yung encounter na yon? Sabi ng God sa kanya, he was about, uh, when he turned aside to look, He heard the voice of God. Wow, amazing yun, di ba? Sinong nakarinig ng literal voice of God? All right? Okay, thank you for raising your hands. That's not impossible. Yes, meron pa. That's not impossible. Literal, audible voice of God. Na alam mo si God yun. I had that one time experience too na alam ko it's really God. So, uh, talagang kakaiba. So, ito yung tinatawag ng mga encounter with God. Narinig niya ang boses ng God and then uh, nagkaroon siya ng like you know, uh, face to face with God at uh, 
pinakilala ng God kung sino siya. Sabi niya, this place is holy. Remove the, your sandal. This place is holy. So, he has a revelation of the holiness of God. Amen? And then he said, I am the God of Abraham. I am the God of Jacob. I am the God of Isaac and Jacob. So, he introduced himself. Pinakita niya, he is the Savior. He is God. So, those are the encounter. At pag nagaroon po tayo ng encounter na ganun, we should never be the same again. Alright? Hindi na tayo babalik sa dati. We will be changed. We will be changed. Inside out, mababago tayo. We need to desire that kind of encounter with God. Alala ko si Manny Pacquiao noon, I share that to you also na nagkaroon ng encounter si Manny Pacquiao. Who knows the encounter of Manny Pacquiao? Did you, uh, anyone? Oh yes, thank you. Salamat. So si Manny Pacquiao, one time, he's uh, is sleeping, natutulog siya, at dun sa kanyang, habang natutulog siya, he has a dream. At dun sa dream na yon nakakita siya ng sobrang liwanag na lugar na kung saan narinig niya yung boses ng God. At tinatawag siya, money, money, sabi sa kanya, why are you turning away from me? Bakit ka lumalayo sa akin, anak? At nung marinig niya raw yung boses na yon iyak siya ng iyak, like he cried and cried. At nung magising siya, the following day, yung kanyang uh, unan, basang-basa ng luha. Men, basang-basa ng luha. Sabi niya, this is not just a dream. This is true. This is true. Totoo ito, totoo ito. Nakita ko, narinig ko ang boses ng Diyos. Ito ang sinasabi niya sa akin. Praise God, you know, si Manny Pacquiao, boxer and fighter, you know. Pero sa God, umiiyak siya. Walang matigas na puso sa Diyos. Amen? Pag lumapit tayo sa Diyos, walang masamang umiyak. Lalaki ka man. Walang masamang umiyak. And na turn ang buhay niya because of that encounter. At ngayon, ginagamit siya ng Diyos to proclaim the gospel, the deliverance of God in their lives. And of course, ang pinakahuli is magkaroon tayong encounter and what's next? We need to be willing to pay the cost. We need to be willing na, Lord, next. What's next, Lord? What's next, Lord? I have this encounter. Ano'y susunod? We have to be willing to pay the cost. Amen? Kung ikaw ay, uh, uh, alam ko na napakaganda na tayo ay maborn again from sinner, na naging tayong born again, na converts tayo, pero hindi nag, hindi natapos lang doon, alright? Minsan po, humihinto na tayo doon. Anyway, tapos na, born again ako, alam ko na. No! Forever, forever, marami pang ituturo ang Diyos sa atin. Marami pa siyang i-reveal sa atin. Gusto niya na magi tayong disciple. Sabihin nga po natin, disciple. God wants us to be a disciple. Somebody discipling us and we have a discipler. So, uh, we have to know after the encounter, pay the cost. Ano yon? At during this time, nagkaroon ng heart-to-heart talk si Moses sa Lord. At may mga question siya na maybe you would be asking that question too. May mga question siya. So, isa sa mga question niya is, uh, Alright, so I, uh, anyway, I'll just give you some of the points of mga questions ni, ni Moses sa God para may, mas mabilis. Sabi niya, Panginoon, God, how would they know that you sent me? Sa, kasi sinisend siya sa Pero to the king. Imagine, hari agad ang kakausapin niya. Nakakatakot talaga yun, di ba? Like, wow! What a tremendous call of God. Sobra. Hari ka agad. Yung pero agad ang, ang kakausapin. Sabi ng God sa kanya, ang sabi sa kanya, paano sila maniniwala na ako nga ipinadala mo? Sabi niya, I will be with you. I'll go with you. Sabi ng Diyos sa kanya. Tapos sabi niya, ah, paano kung hindi sila maniwala? May mga ganun siyang tanong. Sabi niya, you have that rod in your hand. Gamitin mo yan. At yung rod nga, may kapangyarihan, nagigis siyang snake pag hinagis, di ba? Uh, through the staff, uh, may mga binigay pang gagawin niya through the staff. So, symbolize the power of God, the supernatural power of God. So, binigyan siya ng ganong kakayanan. At uh, may mga tanong pa siya na, uh, anong sasabihin ko? Sino, sinong nagpadala sa akin? Who sent me? Sabi niya, 
Tell them that I am, I am that I am. Ako yun, ako nga yun, ako ay ako. So may mga binigay na instruction ng Lord sa kanya. Pero ito yung mga tayo mismo, we have also this kind of fears and doubts in our hearts. Di ba? Be honest. Lord, paano kung, kung hindi nila ako pangkinggan? Paano Lord kung i-reject ako? Paano Lord kung magalit sila sa akin? And that would happen too. Alright? Pagka sinabi sa yung Lord, sabihin mo to sa kanila. May mga, do, mga tao doon na maaaring sab- mapahiya ka or what, no? Or talagang maari na you have to, to kumbaga eh, talagang tatapangan mo yung loob mo just to be able to obey God. Amen? So, and I, I am assuring you na hindi ganun kahirap. Alright? Katulad nung hindi ganun, sa isip lang natin sometimes. It's just so hard. But if you get out there at your comfort zone, get out and do what God wants you to do specifically, it will not be hard. Sabihin mo nga sa sarili mo, it will not be hard. Hindi po mahirap sumunod sa Lord dahil i-empower ka niya, i-equip ka niya, katulad ng ginawa kay Moses. And praise God na, na alam natin yung story at the end na sumunod si Moses. Dinala niya yung kanyang family and they went to Egypt. Wow, praise God. Paano kung hindi mo nag si Moses? Paano kung during those times, maraming mga pagsubok pa after that, paano kung hindi niya, in, during that time, ay bigla siyang siya niya, Lord, hindi ko na kaya, suko na. Okay, what would happen to 2 million to 3 million people na dadalhin niya out of Egypt to the promised land? Alright? Napanood po ninyo yung Ten Commandments? Powerful, di ba? Powerful, nakita niya kung paano nag-divide yung sea, kung paano sila dumaan doon. Amazing. Palakpakan natin ang Panginoon. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, God. Bless you, Jesus. Amen. So, uh, we need to be obedient to God. We need to pay the cost of the call that He has for us. If you want to become converts, madali lang po, madali lang pong maborn again, so easy. But to become a disciple and a follower of Christ, you have to give up everything. Sorry to say that. Alright? So, ibibigay po natin lahat. We will surrender everything to God. Let be God, be God in our lives. Kasi hindi tayo pwede na Eh, kasi ganito po Lord, ganito, ganun, ganun, ano? We have to, sabi ni Lord, He who give His life for me and for the gospel will find His life. Diba? But He who, uh, He, uh, wha- okay, let me think about it. Sabi sa Bible, na He who uh, save His life, we lose it. But he who loses his life for my sake and the gospel will find it. Yan ang pangako ng Diyos. When we give everything to God, we will find life. We will find fulfillment. We will find provision. We will find the power of God. We will see the supernatural power of God in our lives. Amen? Amen. Come on, let's all stand. Thank you, Jesus. Praise your God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you. Bless you, God. Praise you, Jesus, oh God. Sa oras po na ito, I just want us to uh, continually talk to God. Kausapin natin siya. Have that desire of God in your life. God, I want to see the supernatural. God, I want to see you. Hear you, God. I want to have an encounter with you, oh God. I want a change in my life. God, I want you. I want more of you in my life. At habang tayo po ay nakapikit na walang tumitingin sa ating katabi, I just want to uh, challenge some of us here na maaring you have not yet put Christ as number one in your life. Kung hindi mo pa siya ginawa bilang Diyos at tagapagligtas ng iyong buhay, hindi mo pa sinuko yung 100% ng buhay mo sa Diyos, I want you to just raise your hands. I want to pray for you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Salamat po sa nakataas ng kamay. Sige po, tayo ay mananalangin. Salamat sa mga nakataas ng kamay. And kung may mga cell leader dyan, please just uh, go around and just lay hands on them. Encourage them. Thank you, God. Pray for them. Thank you, Jesus. Salamat po, O God. 
Sundan po natin ang panalangin na to. Let's pray this prayer. Sabihin po natin, Father God, thank you for sending your son Jesus to die for my sins. Forgive me, O oh God, for all the sins that I committed. Thank you that Jesus is able to cleanse me and forgive me from all of my sins. Right now, I put my trust in you, Jesus. I open my heart unto you, Holy Spirit. Come inside my heart. Be the Lord and the Savior of my life. And from now on, Jesus, may, may you uh, be the number one in my life. I surrender to you my life. Thank you, God. Help me to walk with you in faith. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, God. Thank you, O Lord. Bless you, Jesus. At mayroon pa po ako isang challenge para sa lahat din. I want you to just... Uh, maybe the Lord is uh, talking to you about encounter with God. Maybe, uh, maybe the Lord is showing you something, pero hindi ka nakapokus. May pinakikita ang Diyos sa'yo. May ginawa siya sa buhay mo, na is, which is supernatural. Pero na mismo yung pag-obey sa God. Bakit kanya sinay? Bakit kanya maaari pinagaling? Maaari ikaw ay is, uh, he, he help you out. Maaari financially broken ka. And yet, God, bless you now. God, and help you. Nasa isang malaking sitwasyon ka, problema. And yet, God show His love for you. His concern for you. And you're asking, and, and you stop from there. But now, God is, but now, this is the right time to ask God, what's next, God? What's next? In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. Taas lamang po natin ang ating mga kamay, lahat tayo. Thank you, Lord. This is for all of us. Father, we thank you for the supernatural na ginawa mo sa aming buhay, God. How you touch our lives. How you change us. How you empower us, oh God. How you lead us from one step to the next step. God, thank you, Lord, na... Talagang, you've been faithful to us all the way. I pray right now, in Jesus' name, ano man po yung purpose mo pa for the lives of this, uh, of this congregation, God, na I pray that they will really take notice of it. They will, uh, they will take aside or go over and look. They would really ask you, God, what is it that you want me to do, O oh God? Father, I pray that you would just give them the desire, oh God, to hear you, to complete the task that you are giving them, oh God, and help them to be faithful, help them to be faithful, oh God, for that call that you have for their lives. Thank you, God. Bless them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.